Hey guys, Exotic Dan here. Welcome back to another video. So today, I am going to be reviewing another product for you guys. So, the product that I'm going to be reviewing to you guys today is... The Make Good... The... I am very sorry, I cannot speak today. The Made Good Chocolate Drizzled Granola Bars Cookie Crumble Flavor. Um, yes, we are back reviewing granola bars um, after a long period of time of reviewing really weird and bizarre products. So, I guess without further ado, let's jump right into uh, this video. So, this product was bought at a Save on Foods location that I visited a couple weeks ago, or actually a week ago by the time I'm recording this video, which would be um, August 29th, 2021. So yeah, I bought this at a Save on Food store um, that I visited that I visited a couple months ago, or not a couple months ago, about a week ago, which uh, which at the time would be, which would be, which, oh my gosh, cannot speak today. <laughs> yeah, so I bought this um, sometime the week um, before um, August 29th, 2021. Um, at a save on food store, so um, yeah, so yeah, so here's the front of the box, um, here's the back of the box, and flip it over to this side. You guys can see the nutritional facts in both English and French, and as you guys can see, they are extremely small from other product rather than other products that I have reviewed um, before. And also on the side of the box, they have some facts on why, on basically what makes this product a made good product, and also some other stuff as well. So, um, yeah. Um, so basically, um, I don't really know how to explain this. So, I guess without further ado, I guess we'll hop into... I guess we'll read this part right here and explain why this product is a made good um, product and what this product is dedicated to. If you guys don't want to, if you guys don't want me to read off this stuff, um, I will post a time card um, right about now in the video. If you guys, so if you guys don't want to hear me read all this stuff, I will post a time card right now to a part in the video where I won't be reading off any of this stuff. So. Um, so without further ado, here is the time card. What makes this product a made good product? It is made in a, in a it is made in a dedicated peanut and tree nut free facility. Contains nutrients from vegetables. Canadian organic, non GMO, project verified. Certified gluten-free by GFCO, made with whole grains, certified vegan, and kosher parv. Hopefully I said that right. And now we are going to read what is dedicated. Now we're going to read this part, which is basically dedicated facility. Oh my gosh, I must be today. Dedicated facility free from the following common allergens. Peanut, tree nuts, dairy products, egg, wheat and gluten, soy, and sesame seed and fish and shellfish. So now that we have all of that out of the way, um, I guess we'll hop into what makes. I guess we'll see if this product is actually made good, or was actually made good. So as you guys can see on the front of the box, you guys can see that it contains. Five twenty-four gram per. Oh my gosh, must be today. Five twenty-four gram bars, and it also says that it contains one hundred and twenty grams. It also says that it is nut-free, and it and it also says that it is also Canadian organic as well on the box. And as you guys can see right here, it says that it is free from nuts, and it says that it's free from nuts and safe for school. So basically it's free from so basically it's free from nuts and it's also safe for schools that are basically um, banning peanut and nuts from their from, from school because as a lot of you guys may or may not know, a lot of schools across the globe are basically um, banning uh, peanuts and nuts 
but like any food that contains peanuts they're not they're banning those foods from schools all across the globe i don't know if all schools are doing it um i know that a lot of schools in my area are doing it and um yeah i don't know if other schools are doing it but if other schools are doing it you guys can let me know in the comments below so um yeah so also on the front of the box it says that it also contains organic nutrients from new organic nutrients from vegetables yeah i'm having a really hard time speaking today i am very sorry about that um yeah it so yeah it says that it contain it, it contains organic nutrients from vegetables um so yeah um if you're looking to bring a granola bar to school with you um this would be a good product for you because like i said it contains no nuts but it's but is it really worth the money well in my opinion since i'm not too much of a chocolate person i am kind of disappointed with this product in so many ways because the whole thing is just covered in chocolate and it's like like the whole entire bottom part as you guys can see at the bottom you guys can see that the whole thing is covered in chocolate and there's a, and then there's like drizzling chocolate on the top of it and on the sides of it. So therefore I don't really see a kind of a you know a good use to buy this product again. It kind of disappointed me. I didn't really enjoy um, this flavor. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna enjoy other flavors of this product. Um, if there are any that I will be reviewing in the distant future, but this is a product that I definitely did not enjoy. And in my opinion, if you're not a huge fan of chocolate or cookie crumble, whatever cookie crumble is, because um, that's literally what the product is. If you're not a huge fan of chocolate or cookie crumble, um, you may not enjoy this product. Um, now, what is cookie crumble? I'm the only thing that I can possibly guess that it is referring to. It is is the Oreo cookies, and let me tell you, I'm not the biggest fan of Oreo cookies. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys are fans of Oreo cookies, but in my opinion, I'm just not a huge fan of Oreo cookies. But um, yeah, so yeah, and it does contain all. And I, and I think throughout this product, like the whole entire duration of me trying this product, like going through all the bars and stuff, um, I did find some Oreo bits in here, at least parts that looked like they were from an Oreo cookie. And this is something that I just didn't, and this is a product that I once again did not really enjoy. So if you're not a huge fan of chocolate granola bars, or um or cookie crumble um you may not be a huge fan of this product so um yeah overall on a scale from one to ten with one being absolutely horrible and ten being absolutely amazing what do i give the made good chocolate drizzled granola bar cookie cookie crumble flavor on a scale from one to ten well i am gonna have to give this product a two out of ten I'm not a huge fan of this product. I didn't enjoy the flavor. I didn't enjoy the flavor of this product. Of this product, and I also didn't really enjoy the taste of this product. I was very disappointed with every bite that I took out of this product, and it was just something that I never really wanted. And it's just something that I never really want to buy again if I ever saw it on the store shelves. So. Um, yeah, so anyways, this is where I'm going to end off this video. If you guys have to enjoy if you guys have to enjoy this video, please make sure the like button and also don't forget to subscribe because I do videos every single day. And also don't forget to ring that notification bell so you never miss a single video that I upload. And also don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell on my second channel. My second channel will be the third link in the description below. And if you guys like more, and if you guys like to send me fan art, you guys can send me you guys can send me fan art on my Instagram. My Instagram will be the second link in the description below, and if you guys would like to join my Roblox fan group, my Roblox fan group will be the first link in the description below, and if you guys would like to follow me on Twitter, my Twitter will be the fourth link in the description below, and if you guys would like to follow me on Reddit, my Reddit will be the fifth link in the description below, and if you guys would like to follow me on TikTok, my TikTok will be the sixth link in the description below, and if you guys would like to check out my Facebook page, my Facebook page will be the seventh link in the description below, and until then, I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!